Hi there, Gemini. I'm Jennifer Angel. These are your stars for September. Now, your month ahead, let's have a look at that. So uh, you really need to be prepared to get involved with family issues this month. And when I say it like that, because you're probably not going to want to, but sooner or later, you're going to be drawn into the middle, whether you like it or not. So um, never good to take a stand. You know, you want to try and sit neutral if you want. And just remember, you know, sometimes it's enough just to be there to listen. You know, so listening certainly is a form of communication. Being a Gemini, because you're, you know, a fabulous communicator and you've got um, a voice and an opinion. But, you know, family issues is a bit like politics. You know, do you really want to get in the middle of it with a with an opinion? So you may have to just stand back and just say to yourself, well, let's just be there and listen rather than get too involved, okay? Now, career and money. Um, you, you work around your work at the moment. I want to say to you, be realistic about what's happening, but also be imaginative. So there could be another way to achieve something to do around your whole work and career life. Um, that you hadn't thought of. So try to think outside the box. Easy for you, Gemini, because you know, you're such a creative sign. Anyway, so you know, use your innate sort of zodiac creative genes and really come up with how you can make your work life more in tune with your goals and desires and more joyful. What you want to do is like enjoy what you're doing. And it's, you know, it, for a Gemini, if you don't enjoy your work, it can really like dampen your spirit. And that's a, and that's a real shame for the whole planet if the Gemini has a dampened spirit, okay, because you have so much light and life to, to give, okay. So try to think about how else you can enjoy your work. Now, money, the first two weeks, watch your impulse spending, all right? You could be tempted. The last couple of weeks of the month, um, a friend could come and help you out in some way. So you want to, like, squirrel all your little, you know, coins and money away at the moment for unexpected expenses. But there seems to be something to do with a close friend or friend of a friend in some way that can help you out in a financial way, to, and that'll happen towards the end of the month. Now, love and romance, um, you need to really get your money values set when it comes to love and try not to sway. Like, you know, as a Gemini, you're a mutable sign, so, you know, you, you, you are able to compromise. That's not your problem. Sometimes you can compromise too much. And what happens when you do this, I mean, if you have a, like a financial value or, um, uh, the way that you would like finances to work between you and a partner, for instance, or friend. Um, you know, try not to sway from that too much because what will happen is even if you think, okay, I can do that compromise now, down the track it's likely to cause some issues and some problems. Okay, and that's what you don't want. So you're just like putting it off. So you want to deal with it now if you can, all right? Now your lucky numbers for the month are 7, 8, 16 and 26. Room there for you to add your own few numbers. And it was dynamic day. Um, yeah, right through the month there, there's social connections that can, you know, unite you with someone amazing. And what you want to do every single day this month, Gemini, is get out and network at some level, even if it's on the email, uh, text, and just, you know, connect with people that you feel in tune with. You want to connect with people you resonate with. So, you know, be careful of just, um, you know, letting anyone and everyone into your personal space because that's going to scatter your energies, okay? Right, now, have a great month. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next month. Bye for now.